this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 8-bit pixel art Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open your photo, you simply brush over your subject or just fill it with the color and play the action. And here is the effect that the action creates. As you can see what the action does, the action transforms the photo into the 8-bit pixel art. And you can choose from uh, three different pixel sizes, small, medium, and large. And you can also change the background. So just run the action uh, for background change that is included. And once you choose the background, the action will place it and apply the 8-bit effect to the background as well. So you can replace the background with a single click. And the results that you get are fully layered. So there's a lot of options for customizing the results. And I'm just gonna close these two windows. So after you open up your photo, before you start using the action, there are just a few things you check just to make sure that the action uh, will run without any error. So the first thing you check is that your photo is the background layer. So it should be called the background and have this little lock icon. And if you have something else, just go to the layer, new, and choose a background from layer. And this step is going to make your photo layer to be the background layer if it wasn't. And then click on this menu icon over here and choose panel options. And make sure that this option here the add copy to four by layers and groups is checked. Then go to the image mode and make sure photo is the RGB color mode eight bit kennel. You can also check the image size from here. So for best results, you should use the image that around from 20, 25 to 40, 45, 100 pixels wide or high. All right. So now to load the action, go to window, actions, click on the menu icon over here, load actions. And now just choose the action from a folder according to a Photoshop version. You select the action file and choose load. And the action folder will appear here in the actions panel. When you open the folder, you'll find seven actions here. So you got the 8-bit uh, pixel art action with three different pixel dimensions and three uh, actions for adding the background, each with the different pixel dimensions. And we got the update sharpening action. All right, so now what you have to do is just go to layer, new layer, to create a new layer. And name this layer brush. It's very important that you spell this correctly. So all letters lowercase, choose OK. And now while the brush layer is selected, just pick a brush tool, just hit B on your keyboard. Right click anywhere inside the canvas, just uh, pick a soft brush. You can uh, adjust the size of the brush using the square brackets on your keyboard. And choose any color here, color pick doesn't matter. And just simply brush where you started with the color. And what you can also do is you can, if it's easier for you, make a selection of your subject and then just fill the selection with a color. It's important that you have that color fill on this brush layer. All right. So I have already done brushing before, so I'm just going to open up my PSD file. Here it is. All right. So you can either brush over your subject with a color, with a brush tool, or you can make a selection using the quick selection tool, magic wand tool, or some other selection tool, and then just fill the selection with the color. All right, it's important that you have that color fill on this brush layer, all right? So now all you have to do is to just select the action of your choice and click play. So in this app, I'm going to use this 8-bit pixel art small pixel action. So just gonna select the action and click play, and I'm going to fasten the video here and get back uh, when the action is finished, then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how can you can customize the result that you get. All right, so the action has just finished, so I'm just going to close the action spell for now. And I'm going to expand a little bit this layer spell here. All right, so first you're going to do is just going to hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for Mac and just click on this little arrow just to close down all the folders. And I'm going to start customizing this effect from the bottom. So here we got the uh, original uh, photo layer or the background layer. And the next layer we got is the background color. All right, so how can you uh, change the background color? Is you double click on this layer thumbnail and then you can just choose any color that you like. And what you can also do is you can just pick some color from your subject, just like this, all right? And the next we got is the subject layer, so this is the main, uh, the main layer and the base for the 8-bit uh, pixel art effect. So we don't need to uh, make any changes to this layer. 
And the next we got is the increase subject clarity and it says here in the brackets brush right into mask. So just select the layer mask, you pick a brush tool and pick a salt brush, set program color to white and then you can brush wherever you wish to increase the clarity of your subject. All right. Let's this. So what this does actually is it's going to create a little bit smaller pixels, all right, uh, than the pixels you have chosen when you uh, play the action, all right. So this layer is going to create even smaller pixels and uh, smaller pixels than you, than you have chosen and it's going to reveal more details in this way, all right. And what you can do here is you can adjust the opacity. So how you change the opacity is you either click on the word opacity and drag it aside, or you just click on this little arrow here and then move this slider, left or right. All right, I'm just gonna leave it default. And the next we got here is the shadows and highlights layer. All right, so just gonna open the, uh, the folder and here we got the shadows layer and highlights layer. So what you can do is you can change the opacities of these layers. Okay. So just gonna adjust them like this. And what you can also do is if you wish to remove any specific part of the shadows or the highlights layer, what you can do is to select the layer mask of the layer that you wish to remove and just pick a soft brush, set for crawler to black, and simply brush wherever you wish to remove these layers. If you wish to remove the shadows, you select the layer mask of the shadows layer and just brush wherever you wish to remove the shadows. And you can do the same for the highlights or any other uh, layer here. So the next we got is the subject stroke. So just gonna open the folder and we got this stroke layer here. And if you wish to increase the intensity of the stroke, you can just turn on the increase stroke intensity layer. All right? And what you can also do is you can change the opacity of this layer. All right? And what I'm going to do is just gonna remove this, uh, the stroke here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the rectangular marquee tool and I'm just gonna make a selection. Right, just like this, and select the uh, layer mask of the stroke layer and set foreground color to black. And just press Shift and then five. Choose here the foreground color. Choose OK, and then just press Control Command D to deselect. All right, and this line that we have here visible, it's from the over sharpening layer. So we're just gonna hide this layer, and we're going to um, update the layer later. All right. So what we got next is the subject outlines. So these are the outlines of the whole subject. And this layer is gonna reveal the edges and more details, all right? But if it happens that some small areas that are detailed gets too busy with this layer, what you can do is you can select the layer mask, you pick a brush tool, set program color to black, and simply to remove this layer in that area. All right. So next what we got is the subject details layer. So as you can see, this layer is gonna reveal a lot of details of your subject. And what you can do is you can change the opacity, this layer to control how much details you wish to reveal. All right, I'm gonna keep it default. And the next we got is the aura contrast. So how you adjust the contrast is you just change the opacity of this layer. So just gonna drop it down. 
like this. And here we got the overall vibrance and saturation layers. So you double click on this layer thumbnail. And now using these sliders, you can adjust the vibrance and the saturation. All right. The next we got here is the overall brightness. So again, you double click here and in the properties panel, now you can adjust the uh, brightness and using these five sliders here. So you can use this slider here to boost the shadows. You can use this one here to boost or fade the mid-tones and this one here is gonna boost the highlights and you can see that by default, this layer is gonna boost the highlights a little bit. Just gonna boost the highlights a little bit more. And these sliders here are fading the shadows. This one here is fading the highlights, right? So again, by default, this layer is gonna fade the shadows a little bit. I'm gonna say it like this. All right. And lastly, what we got here is the overall sharpening layer. So if you have made any changes to the design, so you have removed some detail, change the opacity and others. So if you literally made any changes uh, to the design, you need to update this layer uh, as well. So how to do that is you can just select the update sharpening action and click play. And the action is going to update this layer. But before that, what I want to do is to replace the background, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna select the add background small pixels uh, action. And you don't have to select the same pixel size as you did with the uh, base effects. You can use the small pixels action for the base effect and you can use, for example, large pixels for the background. Right, this example, I'm just gonna use the same small pixels uh, uh, action. So just gonna select the action and click play. And here we got the message. It says in next pop-up window, choose the background image that you want to add and click place. Then position and transform the image as you like and hit enter. Choose continue to proceed. So choose continue and select the photo that you want to add as a background, choose place. Now you can just adjust the size and position of the image as you like. And they said the message just hit enter and they actually will continue to work. All right, so the background has been added and you can see the action has applied to the, uh, the effect of the background, All right? And if you wish to change the background, what you can do is you can just double click on this layer thumbnail and the, in this new open uh, window, just go to file, place embedded and just select the uh, other photo that you wish to add, place your photo here and then just go to file, save, save the changes and your photo will, uh, your new background will be automatically added here with the effect applied, right? So now what I can do is I can run the update sharpening action to update the sharpening. So select the update sharpening action, just click play. All right, and the action has now updated the sharpening layer. What can you do now is you can adjust the amount of sharpening by changing the opacity of this layer. I'm gonna keep it default, all right? So that's it, and let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after effect. All right, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Invato profile page. Thanks for watching.